everybody. Come on in, come on in, come on in. Hey, y'all. How y'all doing? Today, I'll be working on a sweater for Why You Ain't Subbing Me, though, movement. Come and check it out. Hey, SACC family. How you doing? Kim here. Come check out what I'm making today. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, comment, share, and click the bell to get all the notifications. Thanks for tuning in. My cricket always be asking me, what you doing? <laughs> so what I wind up, I used silhouette first to cut out um, my rhinestone template and I used the cardstock uh, for the, for some of my templates that I'm use for this sweater um, I use the cardstock as you can see here to um, to cut out with my Cricut for the YouTube symbol um, and the symbol has SS uh, tens and SS sixes um, as you can see as I'm peeling it back So the SS tens um, are all around, and and the play sign is in SS sixes. And I'm using the color of light cyan for the red, and then you can find that on my website. Um, sweetartscustomcreations.com under bling treats and in the middle I used um, the SS6s and a uh, crystal AB which you could also find on sweetartscustomcreations.com and so this here is my logo and I had to do it in a couple of parts I had to do it in a couple of parts because Cricut wanted to be Crick Rat. <laughs> it wanted to give me some trouble. Um, so I had to split up the my whole logo in Cricut to make it cut out. It was actually oversized from the mat. So, you know, Cricut only does like 12 inches, about 12 inches wide, but it can go longer than that. And um, the size of my logo, which would be on the back of the sweater, um, was approximately 12, Point two one six wide by twelve point six eighty nine in height. Uh, so it was just a little over, and Cricut wasn't having that. So what I did was, while the template was already made in silhouette, and I brought it over to Cricut, I then took boxes around, and I um, sliced each portion out so I sliced out the head and then I sliced out the the heart and the earrings and then I put it all together on one on one uh, box and put a box uh, put a square around it and welded it together and as you can see here the head is actually in SS 16s and I'm using the watermelon color and the earrings are also in SS um, 16s um, that I wind up getting from Glittery Glitz Chick. I'll put her information 
down in the description below. I hope everybody is doing well today. Um, as you guys are watching me brush in these beautiful, beautiful rhinestones. Um, and I just want to say thank you guys for watching and tuning in. Uh, so, if you can see, I'm, I take just a little bit and I brush within. And, um, pretty much it <laughs> no um, the reason why I'm doing the voiceover is because I like listening to gospel music when I craft I like listening to music period uh, when I craft and um, so I just decided to, to voice over uh, and talk to you guys So I'm having, I mean, the material that I use. So in the YouTube symbol, I use cardstock, heavy cardstock, actually. Um, and here, uh, the red material that you see here um, that I'm using the brush with, and I'm brushing the stones in too, um, that's called flock. If anybody is new to um, hot fix rhinestones um, and if you guys are what if anyone is new or you guys are wondering why I had to um, a used silhouette Cricut doesn't really have a rhinestone feature as of yet hopefully that will change soon um, with all these updates that they're doing um, but I use the uh, business edition of silhouette save it as a SVG right business edition and silhouette use the rhinestone feature save it as a SVG and then I upload the file into Cricut so that I can cut it out I do have a video click the link in the top right of the screen where I show you step by step on how to make a rhinestone template from going from Silhouette Business Edition to uh, Cricut. Uh, in that video I made a, uh, I did sublimation and, and rhinestones on a sweater dress. So as you see now, I'm rubbing in and moving the stones. Um, these are SS10, um, sorry, SS16s <laughs> um, that I wind up um, getting from Glittery Glitz Chick. As I said before, uh, and the color of these, um, uh, the rhinestones that I'm using for the head is. Um, a watermelon that's the color and it's so beautiful um, the camera's not doing it justice but they're they're so pretty and colorful so I chose this I chose this because I figured it would look really nice on the black I wanted to do something different so the sweater that I'm going to press this on is a black sweater and thought I thought it would look really cute uh, the part for the earrings uh, which you see I, I have them the small little circles down below on the bottom of the template I'm going to use um, crystal clear uh, SS 16s which I also wind up getting from a glittery glitz chick I'll put her information down in the description. So you can get your SS10s and SS6s from me 
as blank treats and get the bigger sizes from Glittery Glitz Chick. I sped up this because I didn't want you to watch me <laughs> through the whole process of putting it in the stones. I wish my fa my hands really went this fast <laughs> as I was doing it in real time. I hope everybody's day is going well, by the way. Um, as you guys are watching and I want to say thank you so much for watching and I really hope that you like this video and um, like my content and please if you're subscribed thank you so much forgot to say that in the beginning if you guys are subscribed thank you thank you for watching this video and if you're not subscribed Click that button, that bell, subscribe, get those notifications for when I come back, whether I go live or for another new video. I will be uploading more videos, more and more um, of new content. So yeah, and don't forget to hit that like button, okay? Yes, please do hit that like button. I sure do, surely do appreciate it. So now I'm almost finished with the head. The silhouette of the head. I'm almost done putting in the stone, driving in the stones. And um, the heart that you see on the side, on the left, those are, as you can see, the holes are different, are smaller size. Those are SS10 holes. So I'll be using a whole different other color and, um, and size for that um, design of my logo, design part of my logo. Now for any newbies who is new for um, dealing with hot fix rhinestones, um, the, the kind of supplies that you would need is some flock, which you would use for your template. Uh, and you would also need, as you can see, I'm using this brush in my right hand. You would need a brush like that of course the stones and a cutter to cut out the circles onto your flock and transfer paper the um, transfer yeah it's transfer tape transfer paper that is a must it is not regular tape it is not um, regular transfer tape that you would use for vinyl. It is special transfer um, tape, um, transfer paper that are specially designed to pick up the rhinestones and to specifically be able to deal with the heat when you apply the rhinestones onto your substrates. Um, also, it would be useful to use a rhinestone picker. So you see how I'm using my fingers for 
all the small little um, holes that I'm trying to fill with one stone one stone you could use the rhinestone tool um, it looks like a pen kind of sorta it has a sticky side on one side and like a metal tool uh, on the other side and you would just be able to pick up the stones one by one just to fill in those little missing holes that uh, get in there that the stones didn't get in And now the little bit of stones that is left, I'm about to take a spatula tool that you can get at dollar, dollar twenty-five tree. <laughs> um, and I just use it to scrape it up. It's just easier to collect the stones, so it's a good little tip easy to collect the stones once again those came from glittery glitz chick ss16's color watermelon and now i'm using from the same company uh, ss16's crystal clear oops <laughs> for the for the earring part That brush really does come in handy to put in the stones. Easy peasy. Getting back out my tool. My little scrapers tool. It's really like a spatula that people use for cooking. It's found in the like cooking section. I wind up getting this tip from another YouTuber, uh, The Baby's Booty. As you can see, um, I'm utilizing stones from her, from her buy-in and that's where I sell for my blood treats. So now I'm getting my transfer tape or transfer paper. And this really um, is so, so useful. for the rhinestones. I'm trying to be super careful. I want you guys to see. Look at that. Look how beautiful the different colors. I think it's going to look really nice on the black sweater. Oh, 
Wow, look at that bling. So I'm cutting the tape on the paper. I'm trying to size it to be the right size. Um, so I'm not wasting um, the roll. And this here, this this specific um, transfer tape for the rhinestones, it can be used over and over again. So it's not just a one-time use to pick up the rhinestones. Once it starts losing its like little stickiness to hold the stones or it gets a little wonky um, or warped, it may get a little warped, uh, then that's when you kind of like throw it out. But you could reuse it, you know, maybe four or five times before it, that even happens. I reused mine. Um, about four or five times before I have to kind of like say all right you're not doing your job so now I'm trying to figure out how to place or like where to place because my head is supposed to be in the middle of my logo see look at that one full swoop. I'm trying to be really careful, but it pulled up all the stones easy peasy. And now I'm trying to pick up the inside of my earring part the crystal clear I'm trying to size it up good and put it in the right spot look at them stones glistening look at that okay okay <laughs> once I get it on there perfectly that's when like I rub in. Can you rub in a bit? To make sure that the stones um, stick to the transfer tape. I'm gonna pull off gently. Voila! And then I put it back onto the backing of it so I can do the other side. Sparkly, sparkly, sparkly. <laughs> Alright, so now I'm going to wind up doing the other side. And, oh, the mat that I'm using, you could also find in Dollar 25 Tree. It's a cutting board. It's another little tip. I wind up getting from the baby's beauty. So these stones are SS tens that I'm about to use. Uh, you can find them on my website. Underneath Blink Treats, this color I'm about to take out of the pack. 
packaging is called Golden Orange ABs. And I'll be using them for um, the word Sweet Arts Custom Creations. Look how beautiful. See how sparkly they are. So also, as you can see, um, this, I didn't use flock. I was having issues because as I said before, my image is bigger than the mat that Cricut uses. So it's, it's bigger than the confines of 12, 12 inches wide. So I had to cut um, and slice uh, the circle part so that Cricut could cut it and then, and I used um, heavy cardstock and I taped it to the mat and I put it back together. And now I'm rubbing in the stones. I love this color. It is so pretty. That's why I call it golden orange. It's like the sunset. It's like the sunset. It gives so many different yellow orangey colors. It is so beautiful. So the difference between using the, like the pros and the cons of utilizing cardstock over the flock. Um, cardstock is the cheaper version if you're not able to purchase flock. Um, flock is the best to use when doing grindstone templates. Um, it has a soft top, like um like a felt actually um, it's like a felt so the stones kind of like flip uh, into the circles a little bit it makes it easier and then also it has on the opposite side when you pull it off it has a sticky side and it sticks directly to whatever it is that you're going to use um, like a table or you know as I have it here as a mat uh, it will stick directly to it. When using, as you can see, I'm using painter's tape to go around the cardstock to try to uh, stick it down as tight as I could. Um, so sometimes the stones can go under the cardstock. Uh, so you have to kind of like be a little more careful when you're dealing with the cardstock but it can be done as you can see so I've done both I've shown both sides of utilizing flock and cardstock so it's up to you whether which way that you want to go they both do the same
So as you can see, I mean, some people say rubbing in the stones in a circular motion uh, is best. I just do whatever. <laughs> whatever works to get in to get it inside. Inside the holes. That's all that I get. That's all that I did. <laughs> whatever works. Just to get the job done. As I'm watching this, all I can do is hear sweet art custom creations. <laughs> Look at his my commercial. That was um, sung and made by me, Shandy Chi, and 755 Media. Stones no justice. They're so twinkling and so sparkly. So I have multiple, multiple colors on my website uh, for blink treats. You gotta check out. Uh, the short so you can see some of them and what it's going to look like when you purchase um, some bling treats I love, I love 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 you see my little plaque that my sister made for me late night crafting with Stacy amazing amazing work and it lights up gotta check out that video that I did of the unboxing I so love it love my love 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 it Yeah, those are the SS uh, 16 stones that I wind up using. I'm trying to fix as I try to go around. So Sweet Arts is done and now I'm working my way over to Custom Creations. And if you see right there, it's one of my first things from my big sis, 755 Media. Y'all gotta go check out these two women's channels. Late Night Crafting with Stacy and 755 Media. Amazing.
so I sped up the process a little bit so you guys don't have to rub, watch me rub it in the stones it's a process <laughs> let's just say but it's a good process it's really calming actually so I'm almost done with the rest of the words on my logo for creations and now I'm about to put them back and the jaw with my scraper tool This golden orange AB is so pretty. I guess I put too much stone. <laughs> I'm trying to catch all of them. I'm sorry, y'all can't even see, see that on camera. I'm brushing it on the spatula. See right right there is where I kind of like messed up because it was at the edge of the mat. I should have put a little masking tape right there. Because you see how it's lifting up just a smidge? You need it to be totally flush because that little bit of a smidge of lift up. That's how the stones can get under the cardstock. So I'm just picking up the little extras and putting them away. 
checking everything to make sure all the stones are right. I gotta get a better angle, y'all. <laughs> um, a better, like an arm, so that I can do an overhead shot so you can see how great the stones look. How sparkly they are. How useful this tool is. We shimmy them in. And it gets it all nice. Whew. Done. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Say that ten times fast. <laughs> See that same area, you see? I missed the stone in that same area. I should have put the little tape. We're like lifting. and the cons of utilizing the cardstock versus the flop. But cardstock is also good if you're gonna you make a template that you're not gonna utilize. You may just be doing once. You may not use again. Uh, so that that's a good option than to just utilizing the flop. So here I'm trying to size up the head, but I cut the tape too short. So I can't get all of my whole design and the head. So the tape was kind of short and where I wind up putting the, the head on the tape. I should have did the words first and then the head. I should have did it the other way around. But you live and you learn. I figured something out. Next time I'll use the template, I'll utilize the um 
and seeing the other piece that I have that's left over was way too short. So what do you do in this situation? Hmm, what do I do? I press one thing at a time. <laughs> So here I'm at my heat press, and always, always, no matter when you do, you find your seam, you find your middle, as you can see I already have my middle down, and then I'm using a sticky roller to take off any kind of loose lint or any kind of anything onto that's on the um, sweater. And so this is the front of the sweater. This is the hoodie sweater that I'm using. Why you ain't sub me though? <laughs> huh? Hmm. I got all this great content. Why you ain't subbing me though? I press it for uh, the why you ain't subbing me though is I used uh, a holographic HTV and I and then I used the the rhinestone. So I'm kind of like measuring now where exactly the my logo is going to go on the back of the shirt. And so I'm trying to figure out where and how I'm going to do it. How I'm going to put it. How is it going to work? How I'm going to take it off the mat. And have the, try to do it all in one. Um, press. as I said before the YouTube symbol that's uh, you can find them on my website those are SS 10s um, and SS 6s uh, in the middle is the crystal ABs uh, that you can find on my website um, those you could get in two different sizes SS 6 and SS 10 um, for bling treats and the red is the light Siam which you could also find at sweetartscustomcreations.com underneath bling treats as well and I use those that size as SS10s and the reason I have right here I have um, the brown paper that you see that's parchment paper because I'm trying to figure out how to do it what do I do hmm don't try this at home now let me stop <laughs> I was just trying to think outside the box see if I could do it in one press oh but it didn't seem to work as you can see because the same side as you can see I now put um, painters tape on that side because I realized it does lift up but I can't do the thought that I was thinking Trying to be super careful. And I'm trying to place it onto the sweater. Oops. 
See that? The little hole there? Some of the stones turned over. Gotta fix that. So here's some troubleshooting techniques. <laughs> um, there's like a couple of ways to do this. You can do exactly what you see me do here, trying to, um, with my hand, um, turn over some of the stones. Directly that is on the um, transfer tape. And I'm also moving, like totally picking it up and moving it so that I can have space to maneuver some of the other stones. And the other way to do to fix when you when something like this happens is that you can just totally take it out the stones that are turned over and just press and then get the stone put back the stones um, in the right spacing that you want and then press again I feel like I I filled up the space a bit, but I don't like the placement. It's like I had it, but I didn't have it. <laughs> So, uh, the heat press, uh, you put it on for at 350 degrees of Fahrenheit. And you press for 12 seconds so it's 350 degrees Fahrenheit or 176 degrees Celsius if you work on Celsius but if you buy the blink sheets from me on my website sweetartcustomcreations.com you'll have all the instructions on the packaging labels so now I did the press of the head and now I'm doing the press of the words sweet art custom creations I press for 12 seconds After that 12 seconds I removed the tape and I just applied for like 10 not even 10 seconds more after that to make sure that they really adhere look how beautiful it looks oh those colors is popping bling 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 And now what's left to do is the heart that is on the left side. And I used um, tanzanite, the color, that purple color that I used is um, tanzanite. So here you could see the difference between a brand new piece of tape 
and one that really needs to throw away. <laughs> I already have utilized and used and abused um, this transfer tape that I use for the heart. Um, the stickiness is leaving from it and everything, but the color that I used, it's a purple color and it's called Tantonite um, in SS10s and you can also find that underneath Link Treats under in SweetArtsCustomCreations.com on my website. Amazing. Amazing. I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching and tuning in and being with me today as I make why you ain't seven me though <laughs> sweater. Look at the bling in those stones. Can you see it? Are you feeling me? Look at that. Ah, oh, come through, come through, baby. <laughs> oh, I love it. Thanks for tuning in and watching. For the latest and greatest in sublimation, visit Sweet Arts Custom Creations.